the lateral radiographs are preferentially taken after the dorsal ventral and on the ventral dorsal view to avoid positional pulmonary atelectasis and artifactual mediastinal shift. In narrow-chested dogs, a foam pad will be used under the sternum of the dog in view of obtaining a perfect lateral radiograph, where the ribs of the left and the right side superimpose each other perfectly, because rotational views might mimic false chamber enlargement. The vertical line of the cross of the light beam needs to be centered about two finger widths caudal of the caudal edge of the scapula. And for collimation, the same principles apply as for the dorsal ventral and the ventral dorsal view, but one has to make sure including the cranial and the caudal long edges. This also implicates pulling the front legs forward to avoid superimposition of the tricep muscle with the cranial mediastinum. And once again, full and inspiratory films should be taken and every effort should be made to avoid respiration artifact by closing the dog's mouth or whistling in his nose when he's panting excessively.